Hey everyone, Quentin Bachelor here and welcome back to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did and I probably ate a little bit too much. But anyways, today we are going to talk about finding your own photography style or editing style. And I know firsthand that newer photographers, this is a big deal, especially to a lot of artists in general. They just wanna find their style. You know, that specific look that you can see in certain photos, and you can just tell who took that photo. It has the same subjects or type of photography, and it just has that, you know, consistent edit that you see, and you can just tell, oh, that's this person's photo, or this is that person's photo. And that is a really cool thing to have. So today, I'm gonna tell you what you should be doing if you want to start developing your own style. And that's what it is, is you need to start developing it. You're not gonna watch this video and just magically learn how to have your own style and have one. It is a long process and it's always going to be changing as long as you're taking photos. So there are two major things that go into your style as a photographer. And the first one is your subject and your genre of photography. What type of things are you taking photos of? If you're taking photos of, let's say, portraits and cityscapes and street photography, that is a really good indication. You know, it is a nice niche photography that people can look and it helps develop your style because people will see cars, cities, people, and they'll see that and start thinking like, oh, that's that person's style. And that doesn't mean you can't take pictures of anything you want. I'm just saying the more narrowed in you are on a specific subject, the more noticeable your style is going to be. For me, my style is landscapes, nature, wildlife, and travel. And sometimes I do take pictures of cities and other things like that. So that's the first thing, your subject. And then second is going to be your editing style. What kind of look or feeling do you like to portray in your photos and how do you like to manipulate them? But the question is, how do you get there? How do you get a good style that you like? And a big trap that a lot of new photographers fall in is that they want a unique style. But I'm here to tell you it's basically impossible to have your own unique style. And what I mean by that is you're going to be using, you know, looks and assets from other photographers into your own. And that's exactly what I did. When it comes to creating your own style as a photographer, you want to steal what you like from other photographers and incorporate it into your photos. Now, there's nothing wrong with copying another photographer's look when you edit your photo. If you really like how their greens are really dark and it looks really moody, it's okay if you want to recreate that in your own photo, but it's not necessarily your style. And if you're looking for your style, this is what I did and what I think you can do to develop your own style over time. But in order for me to show you and you to fully understand what I mean, let's go ahead and take a little trip down memory lane. We're gonna take a look at my Instagram and start all the way at the bottom. And we're gonna see my style change over time. And I'm gonna point out some things where I started to change and take inspiration from other photographers. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start right about here because this photo right here is the first photo I took on my iPhone and I thought to myself, wow, I like taking pictures. This is a cool picture and I think I could do something with this. So let's start here. Anyways, as you can see from that photo up, you can see it's a lot of nature subjects and trees and stuff like that. And that could already be the first thing that defined myself as my style. But at this time, I had no idea what I was doing, especially when it came to editing. I was just experimenting. And that's what you're gonna have to do in the beginning. You're gonna have to just kind of aimlessly wander around and start experimenting. But there is one thing I noticed in my photos that I didn't like. I told myself I don't like how light my photos look. You know, they're too bright and they just don't have enough contrast and depth to them. As you can see, they're just all really bright like this one. I just told myself, man, I like it, but there's something missing. It's too bright. So I started experimenting. I started trying to add a little bit more darkness. As you can see, I really like this photo and I was new. The entire background is in focus, but the bike is completely out of focus, but I was still somewhat proud of it. So I posted it. 
but as you can see, I started experimenting and trying to go darker and get a more moody look in my photos and bring those shadows out a bit more. As you can see, I already started changing and it started getting darker and a little edgier and I was just experimenting. And I would say at this time, I started taking a lot of inspiration from a very well-known photographer named Peter McKinnon. If you don't know who he is, but you somehow are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I, I don't know how that happened, but definitely go check out his YouTube channel. It's amazing. He's an amazing photographer. You should follow him on Instagram too. He inspired me a lot, especially at the beginning. And I tried to, you know, copy his style a lot and incorporate it into my photography, which is completely fine. You want to try to copy other photographers. And then once you kind of go through that phase, you take something from them that you like and keep it into your photography. So if we keep going up, you can see I tried copying them a lot, lots of dark, you know, crisp, high contrast photos. If we keep on going, you can see everything started getting a little bit wider. That's because it just became winter. As you can see, I started changing up my photography a little bit more. And the next person I started to take a lot of inspiration from was a wildlife photographer named Jeff N. Brenner. He takes stunning photos and a lot of his photos are very bright and dreamy looking and I really liked the lighting effect he had in his photos. So I really tried to copy that and incorporate it into my own photos. His, lots of his photos are bright and white. So I tried to use that in mind for this example. And you can see these other various photos of deer and, and mountain ranges. I was trying to take what I like from his photos and incorporate it into mine. In my eyes became a mixture between some things that Jeff and Brenner did in his photos and some things that Peter McKinnon did in his photos. And I started combining the two and taking what I liked from both of them and applying them to my photo. All right, and then if we scroll up a little bit more, you can see everything gets really green and dark. And this is where I went through another big phase where I started looking into this other photographer, another wildlife photographer named Shaz Jun. And I fell in love with his work and I started trying to mimic his photos in mine where he used a lot of washed out dark colors. He had kind of a washed out black look and lots of dark greens and jungle look. So I tried my best to incorporate that into mine. I tried making my photos really dark and green and focus on wildlife and nature. And I really liked the colors. I liked how he wasn't afraid to really use strong colors in his photo because for a long time, I felt like I was really strong to make my colors strong and vibrant in my photos and just have that strong, bold color. But I feel like seeing him doing it really gave me the confidence and I wanted to use color more in my photo. So then if we scroll up, to more present day, as you can see around here, like these horse photos, like I kind of took more inspiration from Jeff and Brenner with that nice dreamy looking lighting in my photos of a wildlife subject. And then we went back into this nice dark green. And I would say about this time right here is where I truly started to develop my kind of style. And I could look at it and be like, oh, that looks like my picture. And even some of my friends and family were starting to tell me like, I can now see your photos. And I can tell like that's your photo based off the editing and the subject. As we keep going to the top, I would say up here at the very top, this is now my developed style right here. And if I had to describe it, I think I took a little bit of something from each of those three photographers that really inspired me from the beginning. When it comes to Peter McKinnon, I really loved the sharp crispiness and detail of his photos. And I feel like I have incorporated that into my photos today, trying to keep that sharp, crispy look in my photos. And then when it comes to Jeff and Brenner, I really like his lighting and how he makes them look a little dreamy with light coming in on one side and nice shadows on the other. I feel like I try to incorporate that into my photos today. So developing a style is going to take a long time. It's going to take forever. For as long as you're a photographer, you can eventually develop a style and have your style, but I feel like it's always going to be changing and that is a good thing. So the best thing you can start doing today to start developing your own unique specific style is just take pictures all the time and edit as much as you can. Take inspiration from other photographers. You always hear people saying like, don't compare your work to other photographers work or any artists 
industry in general. Don't compare your work to other people's, but you should. Don't compare as in my photo is not as good as theirs, so therefore I'm not a good photographer. Compare it. Take what you like from their photo and try apply it to yours. That's how you're gonna get better. That's how you're gonna develop a style. You need to steal what you like from other people and take this collection of things you like and make it into your style. Anyways, I hope this video didn't disappoint you. I hope you weren't coming here looking for a quick answer of how you're gonna get your own style. Honestly, in my opinion, that's the truth. That's how you're gonna get your style. And I hope this video helped you. Leave a like, comment, whatever. Subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos and I will see you in the next one.